channel is your growing something new. If you're new, welcome to my channel, Creative Tarot. Are you trying to figure out what you don't want to give to somebody in the moment? Are you proud of the person you're becoming? Is your relationship going well? Do you just really want Are you not content with the people who tell you the full movement that you're supposed to be like having with your life of a comedy? Well, if you or someone you know is going through that, I can actually speak you through your spirit with my spirit guide and your spirit guide. Uh, sometimes there'll be big battles where just like right here, um, you'll choose a pal that you can actually feel drawn to or connected to and I'll leave the messages you'll be able to identify yes this is me no that is not me someone who's really really proud the spirit guys is really really proud of you are you not sure of why and how to use your creativity but you just want to know like you're being called here and I'll just give these messages I want to definitely let you know, if you subscribe, you definitely receive 30% off of your first reading. It's awesome. And if you subscribe for a friend or a loved one, you actually receive 35% off of your friend. That's true. If you're back, welcome back to my channel. Y'all already know the vibes. <laughs> um, yeah. Much love to everyone. Peace, prosperity, all that good stuff. And I'll see you. Hey guys, it's your girl Marissa Brooklyn, and I'm back at it again. Um, So anyways, so yeah, I feel like doing the collective me. Um, I keep feeling like I'm seeing like construction worker. First of all, I got my new deck and I'm creative. So, all right, so yes, yeah, construction worker. I keep seeing construction worker and actually like old me. So I'm trying to wonder like, what can I be? And um, I just want to see if it actually comes out or how I can connect it. Wow, some music backwards. Yeah, connect it um, with the message. Right, so let me see what comes out. Because the collective is all of us. Spirit, that actually please connect me to the highest messages for the conscious of the universe and the best of reasons. Guys, it's something that we're doing that's like back and forth. Back. Arrow that we're missing is like when you look at the arrow in the face, you're like, <laughs> no. Hmm. Okay. 
I kind of feel like I see where we're just going with this. But I'm gonna definitely leave it. Definitely. Sure. like something that we're not sure about what we're not sure about has to do with like the work we put in which is the number jack it goes hand in hand um what we're trying to do when we're going with our intention to doing some things like i don't know i'm not really sure um, but we're putting in hard work with whatever it is that we don't know which makes us really caution about the things that make us feel um, happy, like, which actually works with policemen, right? So we're going back and forth, right? So if we're working hard, then we know that we're supposed to be fulfilled after, which is the next step. But because we're working so hard and we aren't sure, it causes us to like, be really conscious about the things that we're supposed to be sure about, right? Okay, I can follow this. But because we build from one, from the eight to the nine, from, you know, working so hard, we still build. It build to be able to live in the terms of fulfillment. We still wind up growing. But when we grow for foundation, it's still things we aren't sure about. We know how to do it for ourselves because we work really hard to do it for ourselves. But when it comes to all of us, it's pretty difficult. And if it's difficult to show a new foundation or build a foundation that's very in tune, then it'll be like, you get foundation, the next generation gets foundation, the foundation that you imprinted. Then the third one has an opportunity, since it's so far apart, to actually follow it or do something different. And then it'll be the fourth one to actually move forward or for to actually just leave off or be very close to where the second generation was, which was following the first one, which was still following from memory. And we all know what memory does which then leads to six, which is if you're either gonna help or hinder in certain ways the following generation after from how open and free you are with your fulfillment and your true fulfillment because true fulfillment has no boundaries, which means that you wouldn't put boundaries on another person. But if you do put boundaries on another person, then you'll put boundaries on yourself. And in what manner would you put your boundaries on yourself or this other person to your fulfillment that you have to be so cautious about because you wasn't sure about just what you needed to do and how you needed to nurture what you needed to do in the ways that it was possible, basically, with putting in the work of building foundations because intent y'all know my intent but if you don't I'll leave them in the below right 
right. So we have the four and five rivers. If you wasn't sure about the foundations you was you was fixing, then you didn't really put the best intent. We're always gonna need a color. Because something's always gonna like be bad to like be fixed. Some pipes is gonna be weakened somewhere. Because we're a whole collective and we don't all police the same way. We don't all find value in the same way. Fulfillment. So if we put a whole bunch of restrictions on ourselves, then we put a whole bunch of restrictions on other people that we don't even know about and their fulfillment and what they need to do. And that's about the foundations that we actually create. And then it goes from foundations within you and your life and your family to foundations within your community to your part of the world. Right? Which then becomes a foundation that keeps me like the pipes is it's faulty. Like it's cultural foundations. And I don't mean cultural like well, I mean cultural like uh like actual backgrounds and then like uh even behavioral backgrounds like um you know like how you actually maneuver within this world are you really peaceful are you a little bit aggressive are you depressive are you those type of cultures and how you interact with other people as you continue to maneuver through life and fix your relationships or leave your relationships you know sometimes you can go to um, or encounter some type of situation that's not worth fixing because you know it's gonna affect you. This five differences as well, so it's like uh, you know certain. Even as a plumber, you could go to a leaky something and know that you can't fix this. We gotta get a new one and. I feel like it leaves you like that, like, not sure if, not sure if it's a good idea for you to go down a certain route from doing all of this, like, um, as far as choice making, moving forward with this choice making, basically. So, us. what can we do, first of all, Whew, guys, I be going to my land, I be like, okay, thank you, thank you, girl. so, Okay. So I'm getting like happiness, like I'm getting like embrace your happiness. We get if we all embrace our happiness like unlimitedly or limitlessly. I feel like that's more of the word. <laughs> unlimitedly. Still sounds awesome. Shout out to the people that actually says that. Shout out to the people who don't. Okay. I'm with this. Uh, let me show you guys, because I really like 
apparently. So. Yeah, embrace your happiness. You won't be happy with Embrace your happiness. Because it comes from. Oh, because it doesn't come from your happiness. And new. And new. And new. And jumping into new things. Okay, as far as what though? Like, and the best way to is, can we clarify? Oh, my goodness. Traveling in the future, responsibilities being weighed down the burden of this and the second project. Also, responsibilities being weighed down this thing up, right? No. and energy, right? So, the, the bigger picture is not the little details that people focus on. Your self-happiness does not come from your new beginnings because nine times out of ten, the things that your self-happiness is for you is not being shared, basically, because you already have any, so many things that people is going to be excited about and it's going to be new for you in the world but it's not going to be new for you like you've been doing this this is who you are it's your self happiness it's not something that somebody says is cool that makes you feel like oh yeah 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 it's like no this is first nature like what are you talking about that's how I eat my apples that's how I say store 
you know? Um, it's gonna take you places. That's what, that's what works for you. Um, I feel like a cycle is about to end. A cycle is about to end. Um, people actually having anxiety and repetitive thoughts, like, like just negativity, um, just being worried, um, everything is going up from here, so, like, we don't have to fear it, everything is going up. We're almost finished. And then this one was. I feel like we're almost finished as a unit of putting each other in this box. Um, we are making a choice. And, and we're going to realize that the choice has always been in our face. But we're going to make it together. We're not really sure of the foundations we're building right now. But it's going to have a direct impact on our future. It's going to have a direct People are not going to be conceited, or I mean, people are not. Yeah, people are not going to be conceited. People are not going to be like only wanting to be content either. Like, and like people are going to be in the moment. Like, what can I? Nobody, no. Like, we're moving towards people not being in a moment of like not manifesting, being like confused um, not feeling like they were stars everybody is gonna feel like a star like this is over it's not gonna be hard anymore everybody's gonna be able to distract people and be themselves because we're all one we're all cool we all are important for something we're not gonna feel like this anymore people are not gonna feel like they can't manifest because everybody's gonna be accepted It's gonna be a happy time. It's not gonna be hard. Like, we're battling each other. And it's just gonna be like, haha, you're good at that. Well, surprise, I'm good at this too. And it's just like, people are still gonna be able to support one person because this person is good at this and the other person is great at it as well. Like, like they both are so amazing for two different things, but they might do some other things. And I just love spending my energy over there because it's so boosting, it's so amazing. I just love it. Like, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Guys, I love it. I love it. Because I feel it. I feel those all day. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is end this off with some messages. This was a beautiful read. Um, thank you for sharing your energy and your time with me. Y'all know the vibes I come with. Very nice.
channel because I was up to that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. But anyways. All of them? Alright. So we got astronaut and nutritionist and reverse. So we got zookeeper or professor. So we got trust yourself. What did I just say? And then we got fresh start. Stop playing with me. Okay, man. okay guys. So let me show y'all. So y'all can, you know, y'all can understand. Stand under. Oh, my bad. Yes, you trust yourself. Right? I'll show you the other cars. I'll be excited. Anyways, so, um, with this saying what it says, right? Um, when it comes to reverse, like, I actually try to read it through. Astronaut and nutritionist is like, we're not gonna have to, like I said, like, be against. Like, we're not gonna have to be like, oh, like, one person can do this like one person could take this long to show us one thing but we're also not going to be like oh i have all the ingredients to do it myself either like it's going to be like we need both of these things we need both of these things and we need balance within both of these things to understand that we're not perfect with nothing we can seek out because people are everyone's good for something but it's not a beyond that we could put somebody on a limitation for we can't think one person could just go to the moon we all can go to the moon for different reasons and we all need to respect that and we're all going to respect that um then we got zookeeper and professor but it's all right so with it being right i'm just like okay look um do we want to own each other do we want to keep each other restricted in these boxes and these cages like uh mentally or do we actually or do we want to be professors and actually like explain to other people what's actually going on in history from what to, to what our knowledge is are we studying each other and not studying each other in like a rude manner studying each other to get to know each other so that we can pass generations on to each other positive and not so exciting yet still positive because we learn from it and learn from one another and teach about one another in the past and still have the same passion that we have for our generations and our uh, recently past generations as we will for the future generations. As well as trust yourself. We're all good for something. And we'll all be able to move forward and make a difference. Um, we're all perfect for many people in this world, for one another in this world, because we all learn from each other. It's nothing that we can't learn from each other. We're really <sighs> so amazing. Look, we all are getting a fresh start as well. So this is the time to really move forward with it and guys I'm getting so many other downloads right now Whew. but that was definitely the answer we're all getting fresh start and we all can definitely and we'll definitely be learning from one another and it's gonna be amazing so I can't wait. I love it already. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay. So we check out more stuff. And you know the bye yay 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 yay.